Well, my name's Leslie. I've actually been working at Catholic Church for quite some time, um, this year, 17 years. <laughs> and uh, I actually started as a volunteer. Um, all the prices going up and, and gas prices and inflation and different things like that. So we are anticipating a lot more families um, coming to get services. So if you're inclined and want to help someone in need, you can Yes, real Vegas, real topics, real business with real owners. Of course, this interview is the results of true networking, true networking at its finest. Uh, social media is a very powerful tool when you utilize it correctly. And my dear friend, Chatty Patty, works her magic again. Now, if you follow Visit Vegas Places and Coil, then you know community is first and foremost. Uh, there's nothing more important than contributing and giving back uh, to your community. Well, my friend Patty, she's a perfect example. She's a, the dedicated volunteer at the Catholic Charities. Uh, she's influenced me to volunteer, and uh, this was an opportunity uh, for me to spread awareness. Now, giving help and hope to people in need, regardless of race, religion, or creed, I have Leslie Carmine with me, Media and Community Relations Director of Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. Leslie, I do thank you for joining me. How are you doing? Hi, Coyle. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm good. I want to thank you, you guys, for joining Visit Vegas Places and, um, you know, just educating the public and everyone of uh, what goes on and what consists of the Catholic Charities. And I want to thank you guys. Thank you. Yes. Now, um, before we start, let the audience know, Leslie, um, a little about your background and your role at the Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. All right. Um, well, my name is Leslie. I've actually been working at Catholic Charities for quite some time um, this year, 17 years. <laughs> and uh, I actually started as a volunteer. Um, I was going to school at the time for graphics and communications, and they needed some help with their website and a couple of different things. So I came in to help out. And little did I know, a couple of days later, they offered me a job. And I was like, oh, that might be interesting. <laughs> and um I uh, I started a, f a little while later, and then I was doing some projects at school, and then I was actually doing them in real life a week later. <laughs> so it was pretty wow. Fun. Okay, so now by nature, are are you uh, like a mother by nature, uh, helping you know, kind hearted? Uh, I guess people might say that. No, I don't know. I I do really <laughs> enjoy helping people and having a passion, you know, for different things like graphic design and. Social right. media and just media in general, um, it's it's really amazing to kind of see how much that can help people uh, when we can do it in a way that shows um, the public what we're doing with the, you know, maybe the it. funds that they're contributing or uh, the, the activities that we have going on down here because they, you know, the services that are provided are for anybody. Um, it doesn't Correct. matter if you've ever had to ask for help before or not. Um, if you find yourself in a position where you may need some, uh, you can come on down to Catholic Charities and we can help you out. Beautiful. Now, um, Leslie, we're going to clear this up. Now that you mentioned that, of course, now everyone, when you mention even um, like, hey, I'm, I'm going to volunteer at the Catholic Charities, even when I have to say, hey, I've donated a car, you know, you could go to Catholic Charities. They're quick to say, oh, so you're a Catholic now or oh. Now, let's clear this up. You don't have to be Catholic to get involved or get any assistance, do you? No, you don't have to be Catholic to receive services from Catholic Charities or to help provide services at Catholic Charities, um, even to work at Catholic Charities. You don't have to be religious or, or Catholic. Um, it, you just have to have a passion like, you know, for helping people. Right. Now, I love everything that was going on. And the process was easy. Um, audience, I um, donated a car. And of course, I chose Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. Uh, the process was very easy. Uh, if you guys um, out there, you have any old cars or anything that you guys want to donate, um, the link is in the show notes uh, where you can donate all your vehicles, which I've went through that process myself. And it is very easy. Now, um, locals pass through the Catholic Charities every day. Um, it's right there on Las Vegas Boulevard, Owens. You can't miss it. And we always wonder what goes on there. And um, as you've probably seen on the video, which I've been promoting on social media, um, 
such greatness goes on and what they provide. Um, now, if you haven't seen it, that's what this podcast is for. Leslie is going to provide a couple of the service uh, real briefly that is provided at the facility here in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, well, Catholic Charities, I don't know a lot of people may not know this, but we um, provide services to nearly 4,000 people every single day of the year, uh, whether that's here on our campus, which is located at Las Vegas Boulevard in Owens, or um, out and about. Like we do provide Meals on Wheels for Catholic, or I'm sorry, for Las Vegas and North Las Vegas. Um, we have a food pantry on site that's open to anyone who needs it. Um, we also have a free meal that we provide every day of the year and an emergency shelter uh, for men that may be experiencing homelessness for the first time or not. Uh, they can come down and we can help them uh, try to find additional resources as well. So we're, right. we're kindly known mostly for food and shelter, but we also do provide a, a whole host of uh, comprehensive services that are helping people start their lives over. Um, like for instance, refugees, uh, we help refugees from all over the world. We're the state office for refugee resettlement in Nevada. And um, we help pick them up from the airport and help them become American citizens five years later. So there's a lot that kind of go on here behind our doors and, um, you know, all are welcome to help us do that. Okay. And never mind that. That was my switch that went on my crowd. I could still um, hear and see. Now, um, I'm signing up to volunteer, as um, you got, you mentioned and you guys saw in the media, on my social media video. Could you let the audience know, Leslie, um, how can they volunteer? And again, the links you guys are in the show notes, and she's going to let you know how, how you can volunteer. And the process is so easy, you guys. Yeah, it is. Um, you can actually just visit us at catholiccharities.com and click on the volunteer tab. And there's a, a calendar there that shows you all the opportunities that are available. You can uh, come in person and actually volunteer in person at our dining room or in our food pantry. You can also volunteer virtually and uh, be an English language tutor for a new refugee who's practicing their English. And we'll show you, you know, what to do. So you don't have to be worried about how to do it or anything. Um, that's a very meaningful experience uh, for people. Once they do that, they really understand uh, what it is like uh, to help someone start their life over here. Um, and then we also have opportunities that you can do from home. So you could, wow. Um, wow. Visit, you know, visit Catholic Charities. Uh, we have Amazon charity lists uh, there where you could uh, purchase items and put them together and then uh, send them on over to Catholic Charities where we can help maybe provide a comfort kit for um, someone experiencing homelessness or, um, you know, a baby wow. kit for a new family or something like that. Wow. Now that's spectacular right there. I like, I didn't even know that. Now, Leslie, what if somebody wanted to come and also come with ideas? You know, are you guys open to um, accepting ideas from volunteers to that volunteer? Sure. We, um, if you do volunteer with us, we're going to send you out a survey <laughs> so you could <laughs> let us know that way, or um, maybe just set up a phone call or a meeting and we can kind of sit down with you and, and um, hear those ideas and see how we can make them work uh, within our programs. That sounds great. That sounds great. Now, uh, let us know what's new on the site and um, briefly some of the latest community involvement. Um, well, we're going to be up uh, pretty soon. We're going to be giving out turkeys to families in need. Um, we're kind of expecting a, a, a great need this year since, you know, everybody's kind of felt the pain of all the prices going up and, and gas prices and inflation and different things like that. So we are anticipating a lot more families um, coming to get services for the holidays. Um, so if you're inclined and want to help someone in need, you can either make a monetary donation at catholiccharities.com or uh, we'll be collecting frozen turkeys as well for Thanksgiving. Great, great. And um, now um, to stay on that topic, I was just going to get on that next. Um, ways to donate funds or even goods. Uh, we've got to let our audience know in ways that um, you can donate funds. Um, you can also donate funds anonymously if you like also. Mm -hmm. And uh, Leslie's going to explain the process and details. Yeah, um, there's a few different ways you can do that. Um, simply at catholiccharities.com, we can accept uh, monetary donations by credit card. Um, you could actually come down and make a donation at the at the administration office in the window as well. Um, and you can also designate that donation if you'd like it to go to a certain service. Like if you have a, you know, a passion, or maybe you had a a family member who received Meals on Wheels, maybe 
in another state, but you'd like to help someone here in Southern Nevada that needs those services, you could designate that to a certain program as well. Um, and like you mentioned earlier, you know, with donating your vehicle, that is a great way uh, to help because the funds that are generated from that sale of the vehicle go right back into Catholic Charities. So 90 cents of every dollar is going to help people in need right here in Southern Nevada. That's right. Now, all you small business owners and entrepreneurs that are tuned in, especially here in Nevada, Las Vegas, um, you guys now are aware. Uh, spread the word. And uh, if you guys are um, lazy to get out, the links are in the show notes. All you got to do is go to the show notes and just click. It's real easy. The process is simple. Again, I've been through it myself. And uh, my next thing is volunteering. And um, I will be showing that also. If you guys haven't seen the video, check that out on my uh, social media on Visit Vegas Places with Leslie. And uh, she's showing us around briefly and describing some of the events there at Catholic Charities, which I do appreciate. Now, uh, Leslie, one thing, um, an important question I want to give um, is uh, what opportunity in uh, Las Vegas, the Las Vegas community, you would like locals to be more aware of? Um, I think one thing that's kind of new is to be able to uh, volunteer virtually where you are um, able to do that from the comfort of your home. You don't have to go anywhere. Um, that is an opportunity that can be done, you know, from anywhere. And uh, the time frames are also kind of flexible. So that can simply be found at catholiccharities.com and uh, just click on the volunteer tab there's options there for in-person service or remote service where you can do things from home uh, or do things from the, you know, the comfort of your computer. And um, you can meet people and also, you know, find that rewarding experience uh, right from the comfort of your own home. Well, I, I thank you, too, for that information. Now, on the links that you um, provided, they can all do that from the links down in the show notes, correct? Yeah, just um, have the that, uh, Okay. All right. All right. You guys hear that? And everything is leaning towards the at home. Uh, it's more convenient, especially coming from post pandemic. Uh, so this is a great way to contribute, especially if you want to do it from the comfort of your home. And again, if you guys do like to get out and want to help at the facility that is also available, which I will be getting into, which is volunteering there at the facility. OK. All right. Now, um, Leslie, um, I do appreciate you showing up. Uh, we're going to get into this or that. It's a quick game two preference and you let me know which one you'll choose. And then after that, we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. I know you will probably get this one. How long you've been in Vegas, Leslie? Oh my goodness. Um, since 1999. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So you will probably get this one. You're very, very Vegas. <laughs> okay. All right. So for this and that, um, at home on a cold winter day, um, are you more of a chicken noodle soup or a tomato with grilled cheese? Ooh, you said tomato grilled cheese. Ooh, kind of right. depends, but I do like tomato <laughs> grilled cheese. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I like chicken noodle soup if it's homemade, though. I yes. know I'm at my grandmother. She used to I'll make it homemade. It's, man, it, that's different when it's made homemade. Yep, that's for sure. Or yes. a chicken pot right. pie. That's good, too. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, man. My uh, great grandmother after Thanksgiving and you was talking about turkeys. I just thought of it, too. Um, with the leftovers, I remember like two days after Thanksgiving, she'll make the homemade pot pie with the uh, turkey leftovers. It used to be so good. It's nothing like a homemade pot pie. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So the next one. Now, um, if the, um, the job told you, you know what, Leslie, we need you to take a break and you need to spend an entire day at one place. And they said either the casino day pool or a day at Lake Las Vegas, which would you choose? Ooh, that might depend if I've been out lately or not. But I heard you can go paddle boarding at Lake Las Vegas. So I think that would be kind of fun. Yes. Yes, it's so cool. And then they have these little bouncies on the lake now. It's like this little obstacle course. Oh, cool. And you go out there and you jump on. Yeah, you oh, get to go out there. Fun. Yeah, yeah I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, at night um, we watch out there. Also, they have these nice little um, jazz clubs on a boat. Um, now they have going on. You can get tickets, and I guess there's a jazz club on there, and they ride the lake. It's real nice. Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Don't so our last one. Don't a concert at a pool. That's fun too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It's very different. It's a great experience. All right. So the next one, um, now we're going to give you a real break. So after that, they're going to say, you know what? We're going to just give you a 5,000 shopping spree card and you have your choice to either shop at the Caesar Forms or Venetian. Which one are you going to choose, Leslie? I go to Caesars. My my boss helped build Caesars. that place. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I'm going to, yes, yeah, stay with Caesars. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's nice. They're both hard, but yeah, I think Caesars too have a little more yeah, selection, especially to wear things for fashion and everything. But yes. Okay. All right. That, well, those are some good choices. Leslie, you have some good taste. All right. You do. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go right. with the day off and the shopping spree. I really like those ideas. <laughs> you like, yeah, you like, let's make it happen now. <laughs> let's make it happen. <laughs> All right. So we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. Okay. So now this question, I'm going to give three options after it's, and you get to pick one. Okay. So we're going to see how very, very Vegas Leslie Carmine is. So at which hotel was National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation filmed? Which hotel was National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation filmed? Planet Hollywood, The Mirage, or Circus Circus? That is a little tough because I remember circus stuff, but I thought it was at the Mirage. <laughs> uh, you got it. I got you. you got it. It was the Mirage. Oh, wow. It had okay, me good. too. <laughs> yes. When I was gone, actually researching a question for you, I thought it was Circus Circus myself because I was trying to get to a movie in Las Vegas. And then when I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, it was the Mirage. Oh, it was okay. actually... um. It was actually released on February 14, 1997. Oh, wow. Yes, on Valentine's Day. I love that yeah. movie. All the Lampoons I know, but, are great. And back then, the box office, I think, was $34 million. That was the box office on oh it, $34.6 I know. I had a, When I was young, though, C-97, I just graduated. I don't just give it my age out, but um, <laughs> Beverly D'Angelo, uh, Ellen Griswold, I had a crush on her. Oh. I don't. She, she, yes, I did, but I loved them all. But my favorite was the, um, I think, it was the park when you remember when they went too late, um, the, on the na- National Lampoons. I think it was uh, was it the first like was the, the Wally park? World? Yes, <laughs> Wally World. That's it. Yes, Wally World. That was so funny. And then the Christmas one is my favorite too, when his cousin shows up. <laughs> I oh love. My them. Gosh, those are yeah. Classics. They don't make classics. <laughs> they don't make movies like that no more. They it's- don't. And it's awesome that Vegas yeah. got one because <laughs> they went to I Europe know, I know, I know. I yes. <laughs> know. <laughs> That's great. Well, Leslie, I do appreciate you. And it's great that the audience can see the personal side of you. Um, you are down to earth. And I want to thank you. Let the audience know, again, um, your position, where you're at, and also the links for uh, them to donate and also volunteer. Yeah, you can come help out those uh, vulnerable in, in uh, Las Vegas in a many variety of ways here at Catholic Charities, um, just at catholiccharities.com or check out our socials as well. That's right. All right. And I do have all the show links in the show. The links are in the show notes. So you guys can go right to the show notes and click onto the bio and it takes you directly there. Okay. All right, Leslie. Uh, Leslie, um, is there anything I should have asked you that you expected me to ask? Um, I think you got everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Leslie. I, I, I do appreciate you. Come down to volunteer. We can show people a little behind the scenes. I think it'd be really fun. <laughs> no problem. And I did promise that, and I will come through on that, okay? So, yep, that'll be my next project for you guys, okay? Awesome. All right. All right. So I do appreciate your time, Leslie. Thank you for taking the time out and joining us on Visit Vegas Places. Uh, you guys, I thank you guys for tuning in and listening. I love you. You guys could have been anywhere, but you guys decide to be here and we will see you next Friday. Okay. All right, Leslie, talk to you later now. All thank right, you. Thanks. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.